breaking news right now. It's impacting families in the Hickory Grove area. We do have some live pictures over Hickory Grove Elementary School. You see the bus lot with those buses there. Our police sources have confirmed there is an active manhunt going right now for a teenage suspect in this area. So again, this is a live look from Chopper 9 Sky Zoom. I'm counting at least four police vehicles in this area. Uh, this all had the school on lockdown. Parents mm -hmm. were lining up trying to get their children. We do have a map of the location. The suspect accused of breaking into a home right across the street from that school and then it took off apparently into the woods. Let's go to Channel 9's Mark Becker, who's got more there on the ground. Mark? Yes, yeah, Scott, they have lifted the lockdown here, but there is a line, as you can see, outside the elementary school. That's Hickory Grove, right where those cars are turning in. I just spoke with a parent. They've been sitting in that line for about 20 minutes, but again, the school that lockdown has been lifted. It all started, as you say, when there was a break in right down here, and you can see the police crime scene van that is right here on Pence Road. They're working on a house that's on the on the right side of that. You can't see the house from here, but that's where the break in happened. We're told the suspect is a juvenile, 14 or 15 years old, that he is on electronic monitoring and that they have been searching for him for whatever reason. They have not been able to track him on electronic monitoring, but they believe he has gone into the woods around this area, which is why we have seen all the police out here. And that's why they had the school again right down there on lockdown briefly. Uh, from Chopper 9 Sky Zoom, we were able to see just a little bit more of the, the bigger picture here of what's going on. But it's tied things up in this area, at least in the late afternoon hours, as they search for that 15-year-old. Uh, they know who he is. It's just now a matter of finding him. Scott? All right, our Mark Becker alive there on the scene tonight. Thank you, Mark. Well, Channel 9 also learned a police canine was hurt in that very manhunt. Chopper 9 also saw this police SUV marked as a canine SUV rushing away from the scene. Our sources say they were headed to an animal hospital. Uh, we saw the dog then get out of the SUV once they arrived there at the vet. And uh, it looks like the dog's doing okay, but something happened that needed 